Hey there, Rachel Lucas here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Edpuzzle. Edpuzzle is a great way for you to flip your lessons and save time, as well as make video quizzes that engage your student. It's very interactive. So if you don't have an account and you want to, go ahead and hit that Teacher Start Now button. But I'm going to go ahead and log into my account. Okay, so here we are in my teacher dashboard, and as you can see, it lists all of the classes that I owe. So let's go ahead and walk you through one of my classes and show you how this works. So here's a lesson that I did with them. And notice how Edpuzzle automatically organizes my data and lets me know how well my students did in this lesson. So I made it a little quiz, and as you can see, this group right here got a perfect score. This group got a 67 out of 100. This group did not fare so well, so they did not pass the assessment. And this group right here did not attempt the video. Now, the, also the cool thing is that you can go ahead and click on questions, and you can see which questions your students missed the most. So, for instance, 13 out of 40 students were successful in this one versus this one, 23 out of 40. So this is a great way for you to collect data so you to make decisions about what you need to go back and review with your students. And you can go ahead and even export this. So let's go ahead and go back to my dashboard and let's show you how to create a class. So we're going to go down here to add a class. Let's go ahead and type our name for our class. And let's hit the little check mark. Okay, and we can go ahead and invite our students by clicking here. We can display this code for our students and they can join that way, or you can share this link. And by the way, Google um, Classroom integrates very nicely with Edpuzzle. So now let's go ahead and find some content so we can go ahead and create our first lesson. So let's go ahead to search. And these are all the ways that you can search for content. You can also upload a video if you would choose to. Let's go to YouTube and let's search for Los Colores. Okay, so I'm going to pick this one. Let's, we can preview it. Okay, maybe we don't like that one. Let's go to this one right here. And a fast Okay, so I'm going to say we're going to use it. Now, here's where Edpuzzle is really cool. So there's lots of things that you can do with this. You can go ahead and crop your video if you want. I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's say crop. And then we're going to drag this. Let's say you only want to use this portion of the video with your students. You're going to hit save. And I'm going to back, go back to my content. And there's my video. Notice it's five seconds. It's been cropped now. All right, I'm going to duplicate this video because we're going to do a couple more edits. So let's go ahead and edit this so I can show you some other cool things you can do with it. Now, let's say that you want to talk over this video. I said lesson, like, like a lecture. Maybe you're, you're using a PowerPoint and you want to talk over it. So let me show you how to do that. You're going to click right here. Okay, let me try that again. Okay, so you're going to click right here, and you're going to make sure you talk through the entire video so it can record your voice. And now we're going to hit save. Let's go back up here to my content and see. Right here you can see the couple edits that we've done. So let me show you. Okay, so you're going to click right here, and you're going to make sure you talk. So notice how it recorded my voice instead of the background. Okay, so now let's come um, to this one, and let's do an edit, and let me show you a couple other cool things you can do. So here you can go ahead and add audio notes. So you would drag the audio notes where you would want to add the note, and start recording. This is an example of how to add an audio note. Hit stop. Hit save. Go back to my content and notice right here are the edits that we've done. And start recording. This is an example of how to add an audio note. 
and notice how it continues. Isn't that cool? Okay, so let's do one more thing. Let me edit it and let me show you how to add a question. So we're going to drag this to where we want to add a question right here. And you have several choices right here. You can do an open-ended question, you can do multiple choice, or you can do a comment. So let's do multiple choice. And let's say I want to ask, what color are the squares? So let's say I want to say blanco. And we can change it. Rojo. We can add an answer. And we can choose the correct answer. Then we're going to hit save. And we're going to save our video. Let's preview it. Again, notice all the edits were done. And there and start recording. This is an example of how to add an audio note. And it's over the uh, part where I also talk, but no worries. Okay, there we are. So we can continue. Cool. Okay, so let's assign this to a class. So here's how we do that. We can assign it to all of our classes, or we can pick and choose which classes we want to assign us. We can give it a due date. Let's pick a due date. July 31st and we can pick a time let's say 9 p.m. oops 9 p.m. and then we hit send and there it is as you can see it's added it to our class and that's it by the way let me show you how to delete a class if you want to delete it let me come over here let's go to members and this is how by the way this is how you would collect um, connect to Google classroom and this is how you would remove you would have to remove any students first. But that's it. So that's a quick overview of Edpuzzle. It's a great tool for you to use with your students. My students actually liked it a lot. Um, well, I hope you found this useful. If you did, I'd love to hear from you. Leave me a comment. Please like and share. And I would love to invite you to our awesome free Facebook group, Tech for World Language Teachers. Thanks for watching.